Hello, and finally, welcome back to episode 31 of Bright and Walda. Um, I just decided to go back and record more stuff for this yesterday, so I'm going to do that. Um, but anyway, right into the game. Um, I'm just running from those uh, young warriors because I hate them. I've managed to recruit a couple more guys, and I failed this quest, so I need to go back and talk to the tavern keeper to tell them that, otherwise I'll never be able to get another one. You know, which is kind of bad. And I have lots of money, so I don't need to worry about, like, you know, not having enough money for my, for my trips or anything. And I'm getting more or less 300 shillings a, uh, a week. Or no, yeah, a week for, uh, from, um, Dumnonia, or whatever that place is called. Um, for being a mercenary. So, in exchange for doing absolutely nothing, because I'm never going to help them out, help them fight, unless it, you know, it's unless it's in my best interests. Um, and then... If, if, um, then I'm just gonna be getting, like, free 300 dinars a, uh, day for, or, uh, 300 dinars a week for three months, and then which one I can either choose to, um, re, re, um, renew the contract, or, um, to not. But three times four, that's 12, times 300 is, um, 3,600 free money, pretty much. I don't have to do anything for it, which is pretty good. I mean, really, it's not that much money, but it's going to save me a lot, actually. Wait, no, that's not right. It's, um... Wait. Yeah, no, no, it's like 36,000 money. Sorry. I totally calculated that wrong. That's a lot more. Um, but actually, there's some coats of mail that are worth, like, 115,000. And I'm gonna chase down these bandits. Hope they can catch them, because this is the kind of fight I can win. Because bandits have no shields. I mean, they don't have anything. All they have is, like... No, actually, about to say all they have is a close-up in the back, but then you realize that's not even true sometimes. They... Pretty generally, they've got, like, clubs or slings. And them here, I'm gonna go charge them down and kill them. I haven't played in this game for a long time. Um, I've been playing mostly with Fire and Sword, because in the past two weeks, I've gotten 24 hours of time, which is a ton um, so yeah. Or wait, no, I know I have 24 hours. I don't know, I don't know how long it's been. I've got 24 hours total. And I've only started playing it in the past two weeks, but, um, I've played a little bit before that, so not quite 24 hours, but still a ton of time. Um, and I've got lots of javelins to be throwing at them. I don't think we're ever gonna hit them from this range, but, you know, you never know. I just want my cavalry to be following me, but there's actually a mounted, um, infantryman, or maybe he's an archer, so I'm gonna call him back. I'm just having them all follow me. Yeah, because I don't want that guy to hit them first, because if he does, that means that he dies. And I need to refer to him in my casualties. And, yeah, he's not, he's not cavalry. He's not an infantry, so he's actually a missile person. Um, he's probably one of the, uh, chef shepherds or something. And they keep on accidentally hitting tabs, sorry about that. I mean, I think they just fired off some projectiles at him, but I don't think any of them hit. So now, I have all these projectile people in the front, so as soon as they start, I'm not gonna bother, um, trying to do a projectile door or anything with them. Because I'm pretty sure each and every single one of them has a missile weapon. Which is not the recipe for success. I'm just going to start right in the hurry my javelins. I don't really expect to hit anything from this range. But, um, I, I don't know. It's not like I'm really going to use them in close range. I really only have these javelins for, like, siege battles so I can throw them into the backs of some people. And I actually hit them there. Which was really stunning. Um, I never thought that that would actually happen. But I guess that just goes to show that's what happens when you randomly guess <laughs> just throws. Lucky things happen, which is awesome when they do. See, that's why fighting in like lines with really accurate weapons is so great, because you might hit them eventually. It's awesome. And here are my archers. Um, they're gonna start firing in a few seconds. As soon as they do, I'm gonna start charging, because I know my guys aren't gonna win um like a missile duel against them. I mean, honestly, you, you can tell they're gonna crush me if I try that. Luckily, I have cavalry, so it's all good. I don't remember when I get any kills, because I have a bunch of infantry charging in before me, and I really shouldn't be charging in the same spot that my infantry is, I should be going to the right right now, but I'm not. I'm not even sure why I'm doing that. I think it might be to try and help them out with the, uh... Yeah, this is where I, sh I should have been going to earlier, though, because now there's a bunch of other guys coming, too. And we're just ravaging their lines. I don't know if they've killed a single one of us yet. They're, I think they're, like, in full retreat, actually. I'm chasing down and killing them. And since they have cavalry, very few of them are going to make it out. Alive, that is. They're going to make a dog and leave. One way or another. Uh, we also captured, I believe, ten, 10 prisoners. 
good number. Um, and yeah, really, this is good. This goes pretty well. I got, I don't know. Could you find a better weapon than a club? Seriously, like, could you at least put like a piece of metal on the end of the club and call it like a mace or something? You could just put a gigantic hunk of metal on the end of the club. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I can't put a miss in there. I don't, I don't know how I miss him with this spear. This is like not even possible. But whatever. I don't know. Let me see if I can just guy. I should be going farther now because I'm gonna see if I can intercept him. Cause you know it's straight fast. This is fastest way to get to anything is a straight line. So, but I'm just not fast enough to catch him. Um, which is kind of you know annoying, but you know it's not terrible. I mean I believe only four of them have, maybe five. You no, know, yeah, five of them will have routed away by the time this guy leaves. So that's not bad. And let's see. So, so we got. 10 captured enemies and 5 um, extra people to join us, which is good. We can actually take 50 guys now, which is a pretty respectable amount. Once I get like 3 times as many troops, I think I'll be ready to actually make my own kingdom. Which is pretty good, considering it's only been 30 videos. Um, I should probably do it even when I have twice as many troops. I just need to make sure that my troops are all real. That is, you know, strong, and not bare, bare basic recruits. So, you know, let's start recruiting more. Or I'm gonna take all those loot so I can get more money. Cause even though I have a lot of money right now, I can always get more. And um, the morale's really low because the people have not rested in probably many, many days. We've been on forced march for like a week, which I don't think would make anybody happy. Now I have more camp women, which are okay, I guess. And um, this guy won't help when join me because they think I'm a starving beggar. Wearing my, like, Dino Raider helm and all this stuff. I don't know what the heck. But what? Who cares? I don't know. I'll get them someday. Mark my words. Mark them! Hmm. Yeah, I really need shield skill because I can't get any shields yet. Um, well, actually, I'm going to go buy a shield later. Um, it's, it's not going to be the best shield. It's always going to be better if I have a shield skill. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll make it. Um, actually, you know, by a Picta shield, um, I really should be doing is resting in this town, not, um, just running around. So, um, now I think it would be a good time to, uh, I don't know, actually. Because, you know, I don't really have anything to talk about when there's nothing going on. Except for, I think I'm going to start making my kingdom when I have about a hundred and or so troops. And they're, all, or a hundred or so real, like, good troops. Oh, speaking of um, troops and money and stuff, um, I believe your um, income your, from your mercenary payments. I believe that they increase um, once you. Uh, oh yeah, your mercenary payments increase once um. My layer, what the heck is that? Okay, whatever. I believe your mercenary um, payments increase whenever you get more troops. So it'll they'll end up getting paying me even more money than thirty six thousand, which is pretty dang awesome. And um, oh yeah, by the way, your troops get um the morale in the morning. So now they have thirty two more morale. And that's out of like a hundred. So that's pretty big, considering I only had to spend like thirteen shillings on it. Um, I mean, there's other ways to raise your morale, but they cost a lot more than thirteen shillings, and that does pretty much all the morale raising on need. Um. I'm gonna get a nice battle from running over here. Um, in Dinkato, there will be some fun stuff happening. Um, over here, um, there's gonna. Be, oh yeah. By the way, I um, I'm gonna go visit the tavern here, see if I can get a bounty, and sell my prisoners off. Cause if I sell my prisoners off, that's gonna make another thousand money, which is pretty good. Do some perform some music, get hopefully get some more shillings from it, and I did twelve. Not that much, but you know, it's more than none. Like I always say, and I realize I've been saying that a lot recently. So, sorry if that annoys you. Now I'm going to go visit the um, t tavern, sorry, the mead hall. Cause it's totally different. Let's see, I need to go talk to this guy, who is convenient here, ransom broker. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. 
Um, better bring your purse. I have some prisoners to sell. I have 10 bandits each with 121, so I have 5,669 shillings. Ha ha. And the farmer. Um, these people, usually their village is being, um, attacked by bandits, and it's Kruk Tan. Remember that? Um, nobody else important really in here. I'm gonna go do a little bit of stuff. Got 50 more shillings. And this guy. Oh, it's another Silky Beard, by the way. Um, by the way, this guy. It is also in the very same town, so I have to do the other quest anyway, so I might as well get some honor and some fort. So I'm going to go run over there, kill the bandits, and then I'll go back in and complete my bounty. So, let's do this. Uh, the Morths are actually really weak bandits. They're pretty much like, um, like, the, uh, like the bandits I was fighting earlier um, in this episode. Or, well, at the beginning of the episode, they're pretty much like those bandits. Except for they're even freaking worse, because they don't even have bows, they have like slings. And like daggers. They don't have like, you know, short swords or anything. They don't even have like freaking quarter stabs or like pitchforks. All they have are these daggers. There, I killed, I think I killed two so far. Yeah, no, there, there's my second. And then I'm gonna get one more if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. There's another one. I don't think he anymore. I, even though I did do deal some damage to some more of them, but I don't actually end up killing anymore. Yeah, there's a good five damage. Oh yeah, and I stumbled and fell, but I still managed to hold my spear above my head somehow. Um, I don't know how, but I did. And then I killed them two, and I wounded one. I'm gonna get some goat meat, which actually does not rot, if I remember correctly, and we recruit eleven more guys. And I forgot about the uh. Bounty mission, that's why I left on um, the first place. So we can take 52 people right now, which is a ton, and we have all 52. It's actually a pretty respectable army. Um, we could probably take out most bandit groups right now, but that's all for now. So thanks for watching, and goodbye!